Yeah, I think it's so cute. Hmm? They're, uh, they're just hanging out. They're having fun. They're like, oh. So when you own a restaurant, right? Like that guy owns a restaurant, yeah? Yeah. I'm sure the police are in there all the time. He probably knows all of them. So he's like, oh, I don't know what to do. I'll just call up all my friends. Okay. That makes uh, sense. Sure. I mean, Sean probably knows all the cops in Waymo. Um, I wouldn't say all of them. Enough but of them. Enough, enough of them, them that, yes. you know, he waves at them when he drives by. They wave at him. There you go. If he had a ghost, he might call the police. No, he'd call us. And we'd be there. We would be. We'd be ready. Yes. So then the chief of police, as he's standing there, he starts talking about the fact that that building has been there for three years. And before that, it was a lot, like an empty lot. Hmm. And before that, it, there had been other buildings there. It struck me as odd that people would keep tearing down the building and rebuilding a new structure. Hmm. Are they terrible builders? Are they hoping that whatever this yeah, spirit is... Yeah, with no is... basement either? Because if it was a lot, did they, like, fill in the foundation? Yeah, I, I don't know. We didn't see a was shot Was there of... just no foundation there? The first building? Well, I don't know. I, I don't know what infrastructure is like down in Iowa. I know nothing about Iowa. I have a girl who works for me. She goes to school in Iowa. I can ask her. Field of Dreams was set in Iowa. Never saw it. You've never seen Field of no. Dreams? I know. There's a lot of movies I haven't seen. I've never seen Field of Dreams. You should watch Field of Dreams. I know. And my dad's listening to this. And I'm so sorry, Dad, because he's going to be really disappointed that I've never seen that movie. Uncle Warren, how could you have never made her sit and watch Field of Dreams? Did you see A League of Their Own? No, I've never even heard that one. The girl baseball movie? Oh, with Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah. Yes, I have seen that. Oh, okay. I, so, I saw it like it was on TV, though. I didn't like go to Blockbuster. It's funny. Like, Rosie O'Donnell will probably be one of the last people that was in that movie that I would have said, oh, the Rosie O'Donnell movie? Like, <laughs> <laughs> the Tom Hanks movie, the Gina Davis movie, the Madonna movie. <laughs> so remember Rosie O'Donnell movie. Anyway, so Field of Dreams was set in Iowa. Okay. Similar to this uh, restaurant that was on the video that we just watched. It was okay. also in Iowa. Yeah. Um, and I, yeah, I don't know. Why would they pull down the building? But it, where's the correlation between Field of Dreams and the building? You said you didn't know anything about Iowa. Oh, okay. I, now I get it. I get it. Now. I tried to give you a point of reference. Yeah, no, 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 no. Now I get it. Now I get it. <laughs> then I was shocked you had never seen this very <laughs> I get it. <laughs> iconic baseball movie. Yeah, no, I've never seen that. They are tearing down the building, apparently. Okay. And so this new building has been there for three years. And right. this is the first that they've had any sort of um, experience with these random cups fell down and hit this poor guy working at the grill mm. or there's this like dark shadow that went by mm. and i'm sure that they went back and tried to look at other nights of video to see if, if they had other i stuff. were a betting woman i would say they have motion sensor security cameras and that's how they caught that okay like it's not like they like went they're like going through every night like if that showed up in your camera your security would go off okay and that's where they would have seen it because that was kind of my thing too i was like like, when we watched the place in Louisiana, like, they had weird stuff fall, so obviously they're going to go through and be like, how did that happen? Yeah. But these people I'm looking at, I'm like, why would they, like, know to just look at a weird shadow? That, uh, it's a fair enough question. I, I think it's motion sensor. Okay. So if it showed up, it would hit the sensor again. Okay. Yeah. So it should be easier to find? Yes. Okay. Fair enough. The idea that the buildings keep getting torn down which was the sense that I got from that video, and having a new building built. I'm wondering, did the previous buildings have similar issues? And maybe the guy just got the security cameras now, so he's just starting to notice these things going on now, or I don't know. It seems like three years of having your, your place there and for the haunting to just show up now seems odd. What did she call it? A publicity prank? I don't remember. Or, she had, she had a whole list of p words. Is it a poltergeist? Is it a prank? Is it a publicity? I don't think that was a publicity prank in Iowa, though. That's right in the middle of the Bible Belt. Um, true. And that's not like a friendly ghost. Like I think if it was a publicity prank in Iowa, it'd be like, oh, we have an angel on our bread. You know what I mean? Like I don't think it would be. Yeah, that makes. We more have sense. like a scary. Yeah, very that scary makes more thing. sense. Yeah, no. Yeah, okay. And they even touched on that other thing. They're like, you're faint of heart. You can still use a drive through What kind of pizza place has a drive through How good is your pizza oh if God. people could drive through and eat it? So good. Really? So good. I, I, I would die. I would love that. 
Oh, I no, would no, love not, that. Not that you've ever been to a drive through pizza place. No. I'm mm. a vegan. So I have to drive a half hour for my pizza. And then I eat it in the car on the way back home. <laughs> we all make choices in life. <laughs> That's mine. That's you, a big one for me. <laughs> you, you have chosen to restrict your diet terribly. <laughs> that is the biggest one for me. I, on the other hand, like to go out and eat all the pizza. Pizza in the car. Clip number four. So this next clip that we have uh, aired around Halloween, like most of them do, and this is uh, actually from last Halloween, 2018, and it's out of California. Ew. So <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, don't... I feel very akin to California, even though I've never been. Uh, I feel like I feel like I, I was really wondering fit in why in we got we got, why we got an AO call on California. Like, am I missing something? I want to go. I know you like avocado, but I love avocado. Um, okay, so uh, this is about some ghostly sightings haunting a Santa Maria intersection. Ooh. Okay, this is from KSBY. Kiss me. It's two and a half minutes. If you're looking for an out-of-this-world Halloween experience, there are some places on the Central Coast that are said to be haunted. KSBY News reporter Megan Healy and producer Emily Navarro visited a park in Santa Maria where some people claim to have seen a spirit. We're staking out here at Pioneer Park. We have a couple of audio recorders, some video cameras set up in the eucalyptus trees, trying to catch any sort of evidence of what people say they've seen a lady dressed in white just roaming around the park or somewhere in these eucalyptus trees. People also say they've seen her sitting in the back of cars when they drive by the park. But before any of this, I had to do my research. So I caught up with the Central Coast Paranormal Investigators. What can you tell me about the legend of this lady in white that people say they've seen? The legend, the lady of white in Santa Maria, because they are known in every community across the board, in Santa Maria, she is believed to have been murdered. Her body has yet to be found, and she is believed to be haunting Pioneer Park and that intersection of Foster and Blosser because her body is still buried. According to another story, she died in a drag racing accident near the intersection. Now, these paranormal pros get tons of calls and use some pretty fancy equipment, but they told me to rely on my five senses. Our biggest tool is our body. When we have our hair stand up, we get the chills, we get, um, we feel like we're not alone. Next step, the investigation. Emily and I set up camp for a six hour stakeout. If you're with us right now, can you please give us a sign? Did you die in a car accident? How did you die? After reviewing hours of video and audio recordings. Why are you here? Are you stuck here? That's a cow. We couldn't find any conclusive evidence, but there were times during the investigation. What was that noise? Wait. Whoa. Oh, it felt like somebody was walking in my eye. And I was like, is it a person? Because like, I haven't seen anybody. That definitely spooked us. In Santa Maria, Megan Healy, KSBY News. The CCPI team was formed in 2007 and has completed nearly 100 investigations at Central Coast homes, businesses, historical landmarks, and more. What are your thoughts? Well, I want to know what your thoughts are on the idea of that being the Santa Monica lady in white because you were over there nodding knowingly. Oh, yeah, because as they were talking about the lady in white, I was like, everywhere has a lady in white. I wonder why everywhere has a lady in white. That's kind of interesting. And the guy was like, well, the Santa Monica one, because everywhere has one. I was like, yeah. Okay. Well, I know that, that I know that we've done a little bit on the lady of the caskets. No, that's not the lady. No, there's lady in whites everywhere. So where's our lady in white? Um, I would have to look up a specific place. I'm sure okay. I will guarantee you there's at least three of them in Boston. In Massachusetts, sorry. Okay. Yes. We'll have to do a future episode on the ladies in white. That would be a great episode idea. Okay. I'll write it in the notebook. Okay. All right. So um, I like the idea that they sent a news team out to do an Ghost investigation. Hunt. Yeah. And uh, what was what was really kind of spooky is one of the recorders that they were using, there was some sort of background noise going on that I kept getting a little bit freaked out by. Like, is that a voice? Is that like, mm -hmm. there, there were definitely noises going on behind them or under their voices, however you want to put it. 
Yeah. Cool. Spooky. You have nothing to say about this? I, I don't think it's haunted. No? I, I really, I, I, again, I have trouble believing lady in white stories. Oh, uh, okay. Every, I feel like, I don't know. It's, I don't know. Okay. So you're down with the haunted restaurants? Yes. But not the haunted intersection? Yes. All right. And the haunted police station. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I think I have Sienna and Ghost Ship. I have a ghost on a pier in South Carolina. All right. And, whichever is the best one. Uh, well, the best one doesn't have anybody talking, so we have to, like, describe what's happening. All right. Well, let's do, what's the best one that has people talking? Probably the ghost pier. Okay. Here. We'll do this one because I think that you can. All right, so this will be our last one for tonight. And this is from WMBF News in South Carolina. And this is from July of 2018. So this is called Vacationing Couple Photographs Supposed Gray Man Ghost on South Carolina Beach. Ready, Freddie? Mm-hmm. Trending now, this picture of what some think shows Proof of a Grand Strand ghost is getting a lot of attention online tonight. I love this story. Aaron Ladd spoke with the family behind the picture and has what they have to say about the spirit giving beachgoers a spook. Aaron. A lot of intention indeed, and so much so that some online are worried that this photo could be a sign of bad things to come this hurricane season. A picture worth a thousand words. I don't know. It kind of looked funny. I, I don't know how to explain it. Johnny Cobb and his friends were taking pictures off their balcony at the sea cabins in Cherry Grove when the unusual happened. We never seen with our eyes just the picture took, I don't know, it's weird. The picture shows what seems to be a ghostly figure just outside the shine of a near light pole taking a leisurely stroll down the pier. Paranormal experts I spoke with today say there's a history of spirits strutting their stuff along the Grand Strand. And the belief is that they're either here because they have some unfinished business and they want to try to get a message around. They're here to tell their loved ones that they're okay. Or they just like being here rather than crossing over. Mike Neff of Brentwood Ghost Tours says local legend tells of a specter walking the beaches as a precursor to a rough storm. The gray man shows up for hurricanes. When there's going to be a hurricane hit the coast, many people go down and check out on the beach and they see the gray man walking up and down on the coast. It's another one of those legends that many people have seen. However, the man behind the video stays dry in all the debate. Uh, I guess people believe what they want to believe, but I'm not saying it's a ghost and I ain't saying it ain't a, it ain't a ghost. But. It was strange, strange picture. Now, Mike Neff, the ghost expert I spoke with, said the spirits along the Grand Strand are nothing to be afraid of, but we want to hear from you. Head over to the WMBF Facebook page and let us know what you think, ghost or no. In the studio, Aaron Ladd, WMBF News. All right, what do you think about the South Carolina gray man? I'm going to believe it. I want to believe it. Really? I want to believe that one. I don't know if I believe it, but I want to believe it. I'd like, I, I'd like to believe that's true. I think that, that guy who took that picture, he's not faking anything. Yeah, I, I, well, I don't think that he's trying to, f I don't think he's trying to fake anything, but I think that that was probably a, a trick of the light coming in. I mean, it's dark out. There's the, like the street light, the pier light, I guess, in the background. And I just, I don't think that that's a ghost. I think that it's something with his camera that have, has to do with that light there. It's also that see-through kind of transparent sort of ghost mm. that we've talked about, like, isn't a real thing, right? That, yeah. like, we're kind of going with the idea that, like, a, a ghost is, like, looks like a person standing there. Yeah. So, I don't know. I I don't think that that guy is lying, but I don't think that it's a ghost either. Yeah, I mean, it could have just been someone there who moved and caught, like, a little bit of it. I, I think it's a nice story, though. It's a very cute story. It's a great story. Their their expert ghost hunter was very rah rah about it. Yeah, I liked him. Yeah, I go hunt ghosts with him. I mean, he's a big dude. Oh. He, he could probably protect you from the the spooky spirits going by. Mm, I don't know about that. I am laughing so hard over you. <laughs> Why? That was just such a silly statement to make. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. I mean, I I dated a guy for a long time, and he was.